Okay, it's day two at our adventure in Muskoka. Uh, we have lots of crazy stuff to do today. I think the first thing we're doing, what is the first thing we're doing? Snowmobiling. We're going snowmobiling. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, so you guys excited what we're gonna to do today? Yes, super excited. Doc, yeah. what are we doing again? Snowmobiling. Snowmobiling. <laughs> Dog sledding. Awesome. And awesome. maybe horseback riding. Maybe horseback riding. That'll be so good. Yeah. Uh, are you pumped? I'm pumped. That's I'm my pumped. first time doing all this stuff. I don't know. I'm super good. pumped. Those dogs get out of control. Well, then they'll eat you. I'm gonna run like that. Get those booties on. So when you go snow, I didn't know any of this, but when you go snowmobiling, you have to wear all of their stuff. So they've given me this crazy coat. I have new boots, I have new snow pants. I've never owned snow pants before. And um, this is absolutely, I want to say amazing, but I feel like I said that word too many times. So. It's gonna be awesome. There you go. How are you feeling? <laughs> Claustrophobic. <laughs> Let's see what I look like. <laughs> you look good. I look super adorable. I know. <laughs> I think it's like driving a car. I think it's negative 20 outside. <laughs> but look how warm we are. Dishes today are, are not the best. It's, it's all icy. So what you're going to find is um, if your ski gets in a in a, one of those tracks that's already there, it, it, it's not going to want to come out. Like normally it's soft snow and you can just steer and and everything's easy. So today's gonna to be a bit of a challenge, but but you'll be fine. Awesome. All right, so now for the pylons here, you're gonna go in and out like that, okay? Okay. All right, go for it. This is kind of insane. We just went through the forest and we'll be like sledding. Actually, it's called sledding. We're going. Okay. <laughs> Hey, how are we feeling? Awesome. Good? That was so yeah, much that fun. Was awesome. That was great. You liked it. You want to say hello? Really hey, what's going on, guys? <laughs> Best teachers ever. Best teachers oh, yeah. ever. This is actually so much fun. I can't believe we have not That's done this good. before. That's good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't even catch that, baby. There we go. But did you see how steep they were? Yeah, they were like pretty steep, down? eh? We made it. We made it. Now, now it's your turn to go. <laughs> now it's your turn. <laughs> Okay, so if you're definitely in Muskoka, definitely check out uh, sledding or snowmobiling. It's definitely something, you guys think it's something we should, definitely, everyone should check out, everyone right? Everyone should do this. Amazing. Time and we did great. We're thinking of a girls weekend. Girls weekend. Girls weekend. Woo! Sledding. Okay, we just finished, wrapped up uh, snowmobiling. It was definitely really awesome. Uh, secret aging training. 
step one complete. We did skating, so I guess we, did, we know skating, uh, we know snowmobiling. What else did we do yesterday? You're not paying attention. <laughs> and, uh, well, you would have saw what we did yesterday. Uh, and I guess next we're gonna go horseback riding, so I'm super excited. We're gonna head back to the hotel first because we definitely need to get some lunch. There's a Tim Hortons like near us. Remember we passed it? Did we? Yeah. I don't remember that. <laughs> when we went to um, Canadian Tire. There was a Tim Hortons there. What? There was a Tim Hortons around there. I, I could have sworn I saw one. So yeah, now is a good time to talk about Tim Hortons. Some, I mean, if you go to Canada, uh, you'll get, if you talk to Canadians, they always say they want to go to Tim Hortons. And you're going, well, who's Tim Hortons? Uh, he's at, one, a hockey player, but two, he also owns a coffee shop. Like, millions of coffee Several shops. Several coffee shops. Yeah, I'm gonna go all over that. Canada. Several uh, coffee shops. So, uh, it's actually one of Canada's favorite pastimes. We all go to Tim Hortons for our coffee or donuts or things. It's like uh, Dunkin' Donuts in the States. So cute. Marlene, can I keep him? I like these ones better. A little bit less here, so you might get to about 25 just because of their size. Um, but ponies, you'll see, maybe get to 35. So the smaller they are, the longer you'll probably. It's the same as dogs. What's that? Oh, so cute. You probably can't see him on the camera because it's white on white, but that's okay. <laughs> Hi. I guess next to the horse? Oh, so we just got off the uh, horse horse sleigh, and we're just about to hit the dark sled. Uh, we're all super excited about the dog sled, right, guys? Oh, yeah. 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 So, um, at times when we're out on the trail, the dogs can sometimes have social arguments with each other. Um, if that does happen, Matt or me will have to intervene in that. So we may act like a dog. We may bark. We may bite. Um, we may have to pin a dog to the ground. Um, if that does happen, uh, just stay on your sled. Uh, uh, stay on the brake um, and let us deal with it. Okay. So we're just about to take off. I'm in a dog sled right now and we'll take a look. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, Bongo, let's go, Arnold. Oh, 
Lean hard, right? We got our driver, he's running behind us to catch up. <laughs> Woo! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Did we get that? Yeah. Sometimes there's dogs in our pack that won't get along with theirs. Oh, yeah, they're like teams, yeah. Yeah, so. yeah not, all of them, not all of them are friends. They hear a sound and they just start running. <laughs> oh, as soon as they know when that breaks off. the cardio part of dog sledding. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't anticipate this actually. <laughs> this is actually a lot of fun. Oh yeah. Man. They do uh, day trips into Algonquin Park as well. So it's like a six hour day trip. Six hour day trip? Yeah, and they have a campfire lunch. And you'd have eight, eight dogs on your team. Was that 40 minutes? Uh, we might have went a little quicker. Uh. And now we're back at the yard. All right. Take that from your side. You just exit to the right hand side. Just right. to the right hand side. Good boy. Hello. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. You're great. You're awesome. I love dogs. Good boy. Good boy. Thank you. Thank you, dogs. So, we're just about to leave the resort. And I had an amazing time, did you? I had a great time, it was awesome. Yeah? What was I, your favorite? I, I don't know, it's a toss up. I've done more in the last two days than I've done in a year. I think sled, uh, sledding. Sledding? Snow snowmobiling. Snowmobiling? Snowmobiling was my favorite part. I think snowmobiling, you know, the uh, skating was pretty good. Skating was fun until I fell. So, well, you know, there was that. Well, I fell off the dog sled. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I've still had a blast. I think dog sled is a lot of fun. The dog sled was fun. Oh, my truck is open. How did that happen? Oh. Okay, we're gonna head back to Toronto now. Uh, we got a souvenir. It's too bright now, but we have Muskoka beer. Winter, winter Wiss, so it's way too bright now. That's Mikey's souvenir. Yeah. I guess we're heading back to Toronto now, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're heading back to Toronto now, and uh, I guess we have some stuff to shoot in Toronto too, so gosh, crazy. Okay, well, uh, we're heading back to Toronto. Tomorrow's another new adventure. Uh, thanks for watching, and... Uh... Oh, there's warnings everywhere. We gotta go. <laughs> so, if you want to watch all of the uncut footage of the dog sledding or the snowmobiling, I'm actually going to leave those links below. Um, thank you for watching and uh, tune in tomorrow for another daily vlog. Bye!